for Kristen Maloney, our fourth of the night, and we're not done. We get a few performances left that might get in that category for the Beavers. Here's the last Beaver to score a 10 on the floor. Laura Dagenhart did it at the Pac-10 Championships right here in 1999. Well, Laura has changed her tumbling on Flexercise. She was having some difficulties with the skills she'd chosen to do, and she and Coach Chaplin decided to change the tumbling, get her confidence back, and get her scoring well again. And now is a perfect opening line. She is sky high on that double back pike. You can always tell when Laura is having a good night. When the opening tumbling pass is stuck, she begins to move very quickly and with lots of energy. Next tumbling line. Another oh, yeah. double, perfect landing. Well, it's really paid off for Laura to change her tumbling skills. She's gone back to the ones that she used last season, get her confidence back, get her scores up. A turning jump series, very nicely done. There's where she'll earn her bonus. Very rhythmic music for Laura, suits her personality well. Two front saltos to finish, and a diving, Forward roll. Laura, this was a routine that had, and she's fallen four times already this season on the floor, but by cutting back a little bit on that first tumbling run, seems to come much easier for her now. Well, she was working a double front, but she's replaced that double front with this tumbling pass, which is a double back. Nails it perfectly. To the balance beam. And her last tumbling line, two front somersaults. She's still working the double front, and we may see it before the season ends. Well, not perfect, but dang close. 9975 for Laura Degenhardt. And now, number two in the nation on the beam, our senior all arounder, Mo Bahardwaj. And Mo hasn't had the best meet so far. She's had a few falls, a couple breaks. Let's see how she does on balance beam. She opened with a front somersault mount. She had a slight check on it, maybe a half a ten. Crowd is reacting to the non-a-10 for Dagenhart. Oh, wow. Three layouts straight in a row. They were perfect. It was as if she was on the floor. Judges may be saving that 10 for this performance. She has such energy. Very mature balance beam worker. And she's had plenty of experience. She may not have been an Olympian, but she certainly had national team experience, world championship experience. And her goals, matter of fact, were not necessarily to be in the Olympics, but to go to college, get her degree, and compete on a college team. Well, I know Valerie Condos has told us she thought Mo easily could have made the Olympic team if she'd attempted to do so this year, but she was as good as anybody the U.S. sent to Sydney. No doubt, but that wasn't her goal. This is her goal, a nice double back, slight step on the landing. She had very minor breaks in this routine. I don't think it's a perfect 10, but it's certainly going to score well. The defending Pac-10 all-around champion and finishing strong on this event. Look, three layouts straight in a row, not a bobble. And the number uh, it is, it's just short of the 10. You had it, 995, still a career high. So the Bruins set a team record on the beam and may very well have set a couple of more records as we tally up the final numbers. We'll have that for you in just a moment. UCLA's got a school record going, perhaps the Pac-10 record. Well, we close out on the floor for Oregon State, Katrina Severin from Eugene, a young lady who loves to put on a show. This is Katrina's favorite event. She loves floor exercise. With that screw to double back, wow. perfect landing. She was so high. 
She loves to perform on this event. She gets into the crowd and into her music, really gets in a zone. She's a lovely dancer, has lots of personality when she performs, and it comes out in her floor exercise routine. Besides of which, she's had an excellent night tonight, already a 10 on the vault, good balance beam performance. She just wants to cap it off. Front, front to a full to another front tuck. She's a little short on that landing on the front tuck. Maybe a half a tenth that the judge would take. And the final competitor in this event, in this meet. Last tumbling line. A double back oh, tuck. Yeah. We start to see the Katrina Severn smile. What an outstanding performance. And what a way to send this crowd home. They've seen four perfect tens already. And Katrina Severin, who's having a wonderful senior year, closes it out for Oregon State. Watch this tumbling line. Round off whip due to a double back pike. Perfect. Oh. Here's her next tumbling line. And double back back, tuck position to finish very strong. Just like that. The Beavers are done. It's the last time they'll be home for several weeks. They're heading out on the road. Look at that number, a season high on the floor, a 49.550. Four perfect tens and some record scoring team numbers. We'll wrap it up in a moment. Just your set, UCLA has just reset the Pac-10 record, and Judy is standing by with our individual all-around winner, Ani Willis. Ani, you have reason to smile tonight. Your first 10-0 on vault. How did it feel? Felt great, actually. Um, I happened to score one last year. It was the first one this season, so I was really excited. You've had lots of 10-0s tonight and 10-0s on your team. What's, what's the luck? Well, tonight our goal is to go 198 as a team. And so we take one event at a time and one skill at a time. And it just happened to work out tonight. 198 uh, headed for the national championships. How do you think that's going to be? It's going to be great. I'm really excited. I'm trying to improve each meet. So this was a great meet for us. Trying to stay focused. We had a few falls, but we were able to recover, which was great for us and great practice for NCs. And you had your fan club here tonight, didn't you? Yes, I did. Plenty of fans. <laughs> Kidding, and they liked what they saw. Ani Willis, a career best, winning the individual all-around. Overall, a great night for the Bruins, the Beavers, the fans. We'll hear from the UCLA head coach when we come back. The season best for Oregon State and the all-time Pac-10 best for the UCLA Bruins. Judy standing by with Coach Valerie Condos. Valerie, 198.25, a record performance for the Bruins tonight. Tell us about it. Well, this was exciting because all year, that's been one of our goals is to go 198. It's a record for UCLA, and I believe it's a national record. for. So that was really exciting for us to achieve yet again another goal. Now, coming into Corvallis, you said you'd like to compete here. Did Corvallis Gill Coliseum prove true to form? Absolutely. Mainly because they love their beavers, and they're true to their beavers, but they appreciate good gymnastics. And so, going one event at a time, they really made us feel that, that we were welcome and that they appreciated the gymnastics that we were doing. Any comments headed into the rest of the season? We just need to keep them healthy. We need to keep rotating some athletes in, giving some athletes a break. Mohini tweaked her elbow a little bit tonight. Um, so we need to play it smart. Thank you very much and congratulations. Thank you. I got a comment for you. The Bruins are tough and they're probably going to repeat as national champions. Well, a great showing tonight by the top two teams in the Pac-10 Conference. They will meet again in Seattle at the Pac-10 Championship Meet. For Judy Corwin, I'm Bob Akamian saying so long from Gill Coliseum. The final score, UCLA, a 198-250 Pac-10 record. The Beavers, a season high, 196-375. You've been watching Pac-10 Gymnastics on Fox Sports Net. Don't forget, tonight at 11, it's your regional sports report here on Fox Sports Net.